Hello, I have been having issues with my check engine light. I have a CTS blow off valve, a CATS cat back exhaust with stock downpipe and muffler delete and resonator delete. I've been getting a P0304 and now I have both P0304 and P0303. I replaced all my ignition coils, spark plugs, and fuel injectors, but I'm still getting misfires for my third and fourth cylinder. And I'm also getting a P2308 and a P2311 code which are the ignition coil C secondary circuit and ignition coil D secondary circuit. Being though I replaced all the simple parts that would cause a misfire, what else could it be? I've been dealing with this problem for almost a year. I just don't know what it is and the Volkswagen dealership can't pinpoint where the problem is coming from. I don't know this, but I just have a few theories in my head about it. So um, we have issues around or concerns around diagnosing uh, misfires. We have videos that we've done around it that show you basically the idea of doing it. So it sounds like you've probably followed the process or just swapped ignition coils and spark plugs and then injectors. Those are likely the three most likely things to cause misfires. Other things that could cause misfires would be some, things like carbon buildup that usually happens on cold start if it is an issue uh, and it usually is sporadic in the beginning and not consistent. Uh, the keys here are the faults for the ignition coil circuits, I think. Uh, if your misfires are only on the cylinders that you have the, the circuit issues on, it's likely electrical related. And I would speculate that it's probably damage that was done during the install of the ignition coils and spark plugs uh, if you were doing them yourself or potentially if somebody else has done one. The Mark 7s have a thing that happens on them. They have a ground strap uh, on them and the ground strap, there's a nut on top of the bolt. And oftentimes I know because we've done it ourselves, when you loosen that, try to loosen the nut where the ground strap is, the bolt underneath of it will actually loosen instead and it will start to yank on the ground strap or the ground wire for that, uh, that coil. So if that is the case and you have an issue with the ground strap, it could be a damaged, which is why you have ignition cylinder uh, circuit thing. So what you probably could do, um, you're probably gonna have to inspect the wiring. You probably would have to do some testing um, to see if you can measure resistance and see if it has a good ground even when you wiggle it to see if the resistance changes when you wiggle that ground strap or the ground wire on there. That would be what my advice would be to determine if you have an issue with those wires uh, because that's the case. So we actually have a tool and part of the reason why I think people don't hold those is we have a, a 10 millimeter flat wrench that we're actually going to be releasing any day now that allows you to actually fit the wrench in between that ground strap and that nut to hold it while you loosen the top nut so you can avoid things like breaking or damaging that wire while you're loosening uh, those coils. So if when you did it, you loosened it and you basically cranked it until the wire basically held it in place and allowed you to loosen the nut, it's probably the wire, the ground wire itself is damaged and you would have to cut back and splice a new one on uh, or find where the damage point would be on there uh, to replace it. So good luck. Hopefully that helps you resolve your issue.